Ready? You game? I'm game. First off, the Rockets have been excellent in transition and to run a transition. Transition, you got to defend, and secondly, you got to space the floor properly. And the Rockets have done a good job pressuring the basketball, and they've leaned on that ball pressure down in late stretches of games. The Rockets trying to make it eight in a row. Down low to Collins, he's able to force it up and in. Two saying misses, rebound to Collins. Threw it back and threw it away. The Jazz lead the NBA in turnover rate, and it leads to that! <laughs> And that's where the Rockets have been doing their damage. Especially with this group in the starting lineup, should be able to take advantage of it. Greg, it's, it's, a, it's a whole different team than what we saw early in the season. We thought we were going to be watching paint dry, and they've been one of the quicker teams in transition since. Van Vliet doesn't mind banging with the seven-footer. We've seen him going at with the league's best, and when we took on Wimby a couple couple games ago and had no problem. Here comes Sexton, a little flip shot off the glass. At UCLA. Could have used him. Oh, Craig, don't, don't start that, Craig. <laughs> Dylan Brooks picking up right where he left off. And just 3-15 and 15 since the trade deadline as they traded away three rotation guys, including former Rockets legend Kelly Olenek. Is... Leaning three. Good. His second. Skip pass all the way from one side of the floor to the other. The ball fake, now the open look. Three threes for Fred Van Vliet. You got great body language, Craig. I thought you were ready to work. And you're I'm, I'm always ready. Yeah. You were great last night at the, at the gala, too. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Jalen Green, three. He, too, along with Fred Van Vliet, has 11 in the first. With those transition locks. Yes. I remember I said that Mint Thompson had a bit like no more. That is no longer a problem. I mean, these things are happening now like in, in handfuls each in every game. We do this great interview. He's awesome. And as we're we're getting ready to say goodbye. Oh, Craig. Uh oh, we got another one. Another two. meeting <laughs> between the Rockets and an opponent. Well, those two got into it the last time. I don't know if these two are going to be able to finish the ball game because the intention after review, Dunn and Smith have both been assessed fighting technical fouls and are both ejected from the game. Vernon Maxwell, great dude, by the way. Okay, let's get back to the pregame before the game. Jeff Green threw the ball off the backboard, caught it, and windmilled it, and he's still on the heater. Jeff Green got a piece of another shot this time by Sexton. Kessler picks it out of there and swarmed and able to step back and throw it in. Tough uh, tournament for Auburn. Kentucky also. Yeah. And a great opener for Dylan Brooks for three. But it's three for three, by the way. It's nice and soft and cuddly as close to there. So good well, appreciates that, you know. Quickly. Wow. Off the inbounds. Three ball number six. And... Jay Sean Tate got a piece of the ball. That's why those extra steps by Collins didn't count. Yeah. That should be a great matchup. The Magic are legit. They're on the rise. The Rockets have been playing legit basketball. They're on the rise, and that should be just a fantastic Magic uh, matchup against the Magic. Now he's a guy who can impact the game when he's not scoring. Turn around Collins now with 15 points. He's on a, a Craig, a heater, as you say. Six of seven now. He's made all three of his threes. He's got 16 points as the Rockets' second leading scorer. And, uh, Sexton with the step and score. <laughs> Go score the ball, right? Yes. <laughs> Murph, yeah. we're seeing the best basketball we've seen in a long time from the Rockets. Why is that? What do you see, man? You've seen the game forever. Everybody's trying to do what's necessary at that moment. Number three, you know, they've changed up a little bit. You know, they've gone with a little speed up and down the floor now. Because <laughs> let's say for, for the younger generation of Rockets fans, they've known you forever here on the TV side. You've called games for years. Oh, my You're goodness. Well. You're now doing three half and post game shows. It's an honor to work with you. Just be you. As long as you don't use any four letter words, we're good. <laughs> and a reminder to stay tuned for Adam Wexler and Calvin Murphy for Rockets halftime presented by Lexus. That's coming up in mere seconds from now.
And I know Utah's been struggling and they've been fading and three games and four nights now and defense hasn't been good for too much as Jalen Green glides and scores. That was a business decision, John. Those of you had an off the backboard windmill to start, you know, in, in pregame. Dylan looks. He's got 12. Internships can do great things. I too was an intern. Many, many, many moons ago. Many moons ago as Van Fleet stays just. Shout out to, uh, it's Sam Houston State University night tonight here at Toyota Center. On the other side goes Sexton. Those are the two jazz players in double figures. Green to green. Back to green. A lot of green. And that one back to the other green. Deflected and stolen by the Jazz. Here comes Sexton right down the middle of the lane. You know, 30 through 39. Never saw him, so. Um, yeah, if you can try to connect with me, and uh, I'd love to have a chat with you, answer any questions that you might have. Don't want to disappoint any of the youngsters out there as Hendricks backs down and scores. This is why the Rockets have the ball here. But yeah, George Pistolis, Pistolis was the Rockets president slash CEO as Jalen Green pulls back. And knocks down another three. Helps see Jalen Green. I mentioned the plus minus, averaging a plus 12 in the 10 games this month, nine of which the Rockets have won, trying to win their 10th their and their last. It is so many Rockets, too many almost to count. That's Kojime Udoka. Rockets that time. Got Doc Ball watching an easy one for Hendricks. High leverage, important games here down the stretch. And the Rockets are winning lots of them, and Green. 15 points in the quarter of the gym. Remember, he got his career high with 42 at the at the Wizards. So he's obviously got a shot. Speaking of shots, <laughs> Fred Van Fleet has pretty much made every shot tonight. Stephanie does great reporting for us. Thank you. Thank our, you. Our favorite. Yeah. My new nickname. <laughs> oh my goodness! No more! No more! What I'm seeing right here. A season high and counting. And, hey, look, I've talked about this before. Of course, Rudy T is smiling. He was ahead of his time. Now, yes. the amount of threes and the volume they took in those days. Comes off multiple screens, says Jalen Green. Draws a crowd. Landell jumps it into Tate. What a pass. The whole Rockets team and coaching staff, they are just, just loving what Jalen's doing, man. Cheering them on. Kessler over the world. The consistency and, and the defense. Aaron Holiday is second basket. Can't imagine why San Antonio can't do that for the seven four guy down there. But I like Kessler. I think he's going to have he's a real good career. Sexton one on two. I, I'd be tired playing against the men Thompson. I, I mean, he hits the glass every time. That guy, that guy goes up and gets shots. Does he not, <laughs> Kessler? That guy just. After this one is over, 35 and 35. Cleaning it up, Nate Williams. From the coach's mind. This season, hopefully there'll be bonus basketball after the 82 regularly scheduled games. That's the first made three for the Rockets. How hard he's played and how well he shot the basketball. James Harden did it three times. Chandler Parsons once. Williams got George there, and that'll be a four-point opportunity. But, yeah. Was that was that was that a fake Space City mic it, lag and microphone by a Rockets like fan? It. it looked pretty real to me. Was that that was that Stephanie? That had that to be. That must be Stephanie. That must be Stephanie. That's who Vernon Maxwell was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's who Vernon Maxwell was. I don't think I've ever seen that. I mean, you guys are really popular. Stolen by Williams. And they dunk it. One. 44. Well, what an unbelievable person, man. There's so much love for him. He deserves it. Sensible. <laughs> Fred Van Fleet, a franchise record tying 10 threes in a season night 34. And the Rockets with an impressive route of the Jazz here tonight.